The Turismo is a complete modern Eurorack modular workstation packed with an expertly curated selection of modules, combining the best of both digital and analog technologies for a creative and fun patching experience with a one-of-a-kind ALM character. It features analog and digital oscillators, creative sampling, filtering, mixing, wide-ranging DSP effects, sequencing, flexible modulation, MIDI and external audio inputs. Building on the original system coupe, the Turismo provides the complete ALM modular experience, effortlessly blending vast exploration with the simplicity and fun that ALM is known for. Let's build a full track from start to finish using the Turismo. We'll start with Pamela's Pro Workout, the primary clock and modulation source of the system. Let's patch a default times one clock out to the first channel of the squid sample and take the mix output to an input of the Megatang. Once the mixer level is increased, we'll start the PAM to begin triggering a kick drum sample from the squid. Let's connect the second out from PAM to trigger a clap sound. We'll change the modifier, then hold the encoder to make further edits. Let's shift the phase to correctly place the clap on the 2 and 4. The Pan Pro is a great source for rhythms, but we can also use the ASQ1 to program beats more directly. Let's sync the ASQ1 with Pam using output 7 and 8 as a times 4 clock and stop reset signal respectively. We'll then patch them to the clock and reset inputs of the ASQ1. To properly sync them, we'll stop PAM and engage play mode on the ASQ1, then start the clock again. We can now see the step lights running. Let's patch the first trigger out to the squid and navigate to the corresponding track using the mode button. We'll begin entering steps on the white keys to create a closed hi-hat pattern. We can navigate between multiple pages with the buttons on the right. Let's add another hi-hat sound by repeating the process using the second trigger sequencer out. Now we'll return to the PAM and use it to trigger one more drum sound. We'll start by increasing the modifier speed, then entering the extended parameters to create a Euclidean pattern. Euclidean patterns are great for adding groove and syncopation to beats. For more mixing flexibility, let's split the drum sounds into two groups. We'll connect the direct out for the kick and clap to channel 1 of the Megatang and move the remaining sounds from the mix out to channel 2. We can now process and mix these groups independently. With a beat fully built up, let's create a simple analog bass voice. We'll start by patching the TASM O's primary shape output through the left low pass filter of the MCF x2, then out to the third channel of the Megatang. As we increase the level, we can hear a droning sine wave. Let's change the shape to a square. Lower the filter cutoff to darken the sound. Now let's move to the ASQ1 and switch to the first note sequencer. We'll patch its gate out to trigger an envelope from the Quave Megaslope and create two copies of the unipolar output using the molt. 
We'll then take one copy to the cutoff frequency input of the MCF times 2 and set up a basic decay envelope on the quade. As we increase the attenuverter, we can hear the envelope start to modulate the filter cutoff. Let's patch the second copy of our envelope to the VCA level CV input of the Megatang to stop the voice from droning. Finally, we'll patch the CV output of the sequencer to the volt per octave input of the TASM O to control its pitch. By pressing the store button during playback, we can live record a sequence into the ASQ1. If a wrong note was played, we can easily overdub another. Pressing store once more exits the live recording mode. We now have a complete sequenced bass voice. Finally, let's create a lush digital chord voice. We'll start by patching oscillator B of the sizzle directly to the fourth channel of the Megatang. Let's change the oscillator B mode to ring mod and alter the shape of oscillator A to sharpen the sound. We'll then select a minor seventh chord with the chord control. Returning to the ASQ1, let's patch the gate out of sequencer 2 to trigger an envelope from the pip slope and use its output to control the VCA level for channel 4 of the Megatang. This time, we'll patch the CV output of the sequencer to the buffered malt section of the Mega Milton to create multiple copies of the sequence. We'll then take one copy to the volt per octave input of the sizzle to control its pitch. To tie the sizzle's resonance suite to the pitch changes, we'll patch a second copy of the pitch sequence to the shape CV input of oscillator B. As we increase the attenuverter, we can hear the voice become slightly brighter with higher notes on the keyboard. Like before, let's press the store button and live record a basic sequence into the ASQ1. add some ambience, let's run the FX send output of the Megatang to the input of the MFX and take its stereo out back to the return. As we increase the send for our chord voice, we'll begin to hear a short echo from the MFX. Let's enter the Digi PCM echo engine and change its clock setting to external. Once we patch a clock from the PAM to the MFX's clock input, we'll immediately hear the delay jump into sync. Let's slightly increase the send of the second drum group to add further motion and ambience. Finally, we'll return to PAM and add a bit of modulation to our voices. Let's set up output 5 as a slow triangle wave LFO. We'll patch it to sweep the phase distortion algorithm of the sizzle, adding smooth harmonic changes to the chords. We'll then set up output 6 as a smooth random modulation source to add subtle variation to the brightness of the bass voice.
Let's patch the output to the second cutoff frequency CV input of the MCF times 2 and reduce the level on the pan. We've now patched up an entire track, complete with drums, bass, chords, effects and modulation. We can easily make further tweaks and perform immediate changes with the mutes of the Megatang and ASQ-1. The Turismo is a complete modern modular workstation designed for effortless creative exploration in a compact and friendly travel case. The expertly curated selection of modules combines the best of both digital and analog with flexible sequencing and modulation for a ready-to-use system perfect for both Eurorack beginners and seasoned users. The Turismo is available now and shipping from your preferred ALM stockist. For more information on the Turismo and the rest of the ALM product line, please visit busycircuits.com.